Workshop topics. Some new parts for my MyFoot ML7R lathe and modifying a carbide tip cutting tool to fit in a small quick change tool holder. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you will realise that recently I've been making some videos for MyFood Limited. Once I'd finished the job, I had to go across to MyFood to return the photograph albums. And while I was there, I bought some parts. The first part being a new tool holder for my MyFood tool post. I try and use these quick change tool posts where possible. This, for instance, is the tool holder from my Smart and Brown lathe. As you can see, it's much bigger. I do like this system, it used to be called a Dixon tool post, but I guess over the years the patent expired, so there are many different ones. This tool post on my Smart and Brown lathe is a genuine Dixon tool post, more or less the same as all the rest except a lot older and bigger. It's very important to fit the correct size of tool into the tool holder to make sure you can get it to centre height. The lathe tool fitted to my Smart and Brown lathe is almost as big as the tool holder for the Myford. As well as buying a tool holder from Myford, while I was there I bought a cutting tool. And it's the wrong one. More about that shortly. First I would like to take a close look at the Myford tool holder. You can see that it's a genuine Myford because it has an M stamped on it. This is one of the quick change tool holders that I already had. When I went over to Myford, they'd actually sold out of these, so instead, while I was there, I bought a tool holder of Far Eastern origin, and you can immediately see what the difference is. Look at the tool marks on this one, on the inside. And apart from a slightly different knurled adjuster, it's identical to the Myford one. I'll put them side by side so you can see. The finish of the external parts is about the same on both of these tool holders. These are both for my Myford ML7 lathe, and as you can see, the left hand one is fitted with the lathe tool from RDG Tools. This particular lathe tool is good, but not for all operations. It's great for facing, and it's quite good for turning, but I do prefer a lathe tool with more of an angle on the carbide tip. That's why I bought this one, because the tip is slightly different. Here, I'm fitting it into the tool holder. These type of replaceable tip carbide tools come with a special torque driver to remove and refit the carbide tip tools. I'm taking no chances, I'm going to put this in a safe place in the drawer underneath the Myford lathe. In this drawer you can see some other interesting bits and pieces. I even found a scientific calculator, now this would be useful, especially if it had a battery in it. This was one of many bits and pieces that I got when I bought the lathe. It's called a fixed steady, and you secure it to the lathe bed and it will support long pieces of round bar when you're turning. I never noticed this, but I think it would also be useful as a clapperboard when I make model engineering videos. For now though, it's back in the drawer with it. This metal drawer that I fitted underneath the worktop that the lathe sits on came with the lathe. The trouble is though, it's a bit small, I think I'm going to make a much bigger drawer because at the moment I've got nowhere to put things. Look where I keep the tools in the chip tray and this is not good. This Myford ML7R is sat on a worktop in front of a window, which is great for the light in the workshop but it's not too good to fit a shelter. So I think I'll ask a joiner friend of mine to make me a large custom built drawer. All of the tooling and bits of sandpaper can go in the drawer underneath the lathe. I fitted the new lathe tool into the new lathe tool holder, and here I'm adjusting the centre height of the holder. You can see what's happening. As I turn the knurled wheel, it drops the position of the holder. The problem is, the tool is not quite at centre height, it's very slightly above centre height, and I cannot adjust it any further. This is a bit of a puzzle. I'm sure the penny will drop towards the back end of the episode, once I engage my brain cell. This lathe tool is from a set, and it's the one that I use in my Boxford lathe. I've repositioned it many times, as you can see by the marks on it. But the tool holder in the Boxford lathe is bigger than the one on the Myford, so there's more movement available to obtain centre height. I always thought that this was an 8mm square tool, but it isn't, it's 7mm square. 
which in this case is good because all I have to do is use my belt sander and remove one millimeter from the bottom of the tool. A very simple job, which I shouldn't really have to do, but that's life. When I fit this into the Chinese tool holder, it's at perfect center height now. And this tool is virtually identical to the one that I bought from Myford. The solution is very simple. The new Myford carbide tip tool is now fitted into the Boxford and the tool that was in the Boxford that's part of a set is now fitted to the Myford. At first I thought that the tool holders were different sizes but that's not right. It turns out that this is the wrong cutting tool for a Myford tool holder. This one is 10 mm square. But all's well that ends well because this is perfect for my Boxford and the other one, now just ground it down slightly, is perfect for the Myford. Stay safe and healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.